What is going on guys? Tango Pia here and today we are right starting the rain from Storm Fiona. Right now it's still a storm. They say it should hit a category one hurricane. Uh, supposedly it's right now at 65 miles per hour. When it gets 70 it's gonna be a hurricane. So I'm just gonna go right now real quick for a quick drive around my hometown and show you what it's like before and then hopefully whatever happens i'm going to show you the after right now a lot of gusts of winds randomly then it stops and then you know uh, rain stops it's kind of crazy but yeah we're seeing the start of it no sun at all it's kind of bright the day but the sun isn't coming through the clouds at all so with that being said let's go and check it out how it is on the road What there is, is a lot of cop cars all around the town and a lot of uh, manejo de emergencia y rescate or emergency management and rescue. There are a lot on the road, they're watching everywhere, so that's something good. So they, they are not staying in or something like that just until everything hits. So for now, I think it's been very good, very normal. Uh, a lot of rain starting now, like more continuous drizzles, but the rain, the but the wind is also picking up. I can feel it shakes my car, shaking all of the lights and the intersections and everything. So it's picking up. You can you can tell by it. You can see it. The fog is starting to settle in. Wow. I honestly expected much, much water, but honestly, it's pretty nice. Uh, I wouldn't want to be here when it gets, uh, you know, when it gets a flash flood and all the water comes crushing down. We were right there on that bridge, but look at how much bigger it looks from here. It's beautiful. And guys, if you saw my video yesterday, you know that here is the dollar store, always 99, that we came to buy some stuff. You saw it was completely open, but now they have tormenteras or storm shields. A few of them also do, some don't, you can see here between them. And as I was just talking about the tormenteras there, I got a notification on my phone and it's that Fiona, it's officially a category one storm hurricane. So you can start to feel the wind gust. It's getting super rainy. Look at the tree right behind me. And with that being an official hurricane, I think I'm gonna be heading home. I'm supposed to get here at around 2, 3 p.m. It's noon, so it's starting to get here. Already debris on the roads. See, you can see the wind, how it's making everything fall. I am passing by a very risky part of the mountain that has a lot of rock slides. Let me show you right now. Oh, wow, look at the wind now, guys. There's a rock already, wow. Oh, there was already a small rock slide. Holy damn. This is getting a little bit serious right now. A rock slide already and we haven't been hit by the storm let me just tell you that okay wow and right now we're at a viewpoint guys i don't think if you can hear me or see me because it's raining so much but i'm gonna show you right now how the bands of rain and winds are coming in The camera is soaked, but yep, I'm done. I'm gonna head home right now. Uh, it's really starting. I don't wanna say I'm scared, but I'm very worried. And I just wanna be home, safe, you know, comfortable with everything. And the dogs are there, Amida is there. Thank God we prepared for more than what we thought it was gonna be. 
because I feel more confident about how everything's gonna go down. Ooh. It hasn't been 15 minutes since I came back home. It's 12.15 and I already lost my power, guys. This is gonna be a very, very long day. So, I would say it's almost 1 p.m. We just ate something and the wind is picking out so much that you hear all of the wood crumble and crackling. And right as we were finishing our meal, I hear a thump and I look outside and I see the first casualty right in front of us. That's two branches, actually. 215 update, as you can tell, a few trees are down. The wind is picking up very, very, very bad. Uh, now it's supposed to sleep. It has touched down for at least like 30 minutes. It came up very near Ponce and Guanica, Guadalajara, right in between those towns. We are waiting for a lot more of rain. This is just started, so I keep updating you. Hopefully, whenever something happens, happens. I'll show you guys. We are just outside of the house right now in the balcony. A little update right now, it's 5.15, so three hours later, we are still passing a little bit over the eye of the storm. The wind is coming and going, coming and going, but it's not safe yet. There's have been a whole outage on the island, so nothing in the island, ha no one in the island has electricity right now. Uh, there has been bridges that has been lost, there has been houses that have blown off the roofs and there are many, many, many other disasters happening. So everybody stay in the house, be safe out there because this is not a joke. Because this is not a joke. We completely underestimated the power of Fiona before coming, but it got super powerful right before hitting us in Puerto Rico. So now it's 5.55 p.m. and we're about to try to go out, take a little spin in the neighborhood and check out how's everything outside. The eye of the storm already passed and it's out of Puerto Rico. So we're gonna go and try to see everything before it starts heading big rains and heavy winds again. So let's go check it out. We have Amaira as a camerographer now. Look at all the leaves, but the orchids are biased right now. We got the neighbor's house right there. Look at the trees and everything. Chicken survived, pinta is good. And look at the trees that fell right there. As the night falls guys, I'm gonna call it a day. That has been the video of 
Hurricane Fiona hitting Puerto Rico. If you want to see more content tomorrow, I'm gonna go out and I'm gonna try check it out some of the damages and everything more. I had a little bit of a drive around my hometown now, but it's not safe. It's very dangerous and the night it's starting to fall. So with that being said, Tongo PR, I'm out. Be safe guys. Peace. I love you.